notice when you go outside that um, uh, you can almost feel <laughs> the weather. That's the humidity. And when the humidity spikes like that, the atmosphere just has more to draw on. So a, a drier day, and this 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 isn't uh, groundbreaking meteorology, but if you think of an area uh, in Arizona where, you know, anybody who's ever been there, we always say, oh, it's a dry heat. Well, it still gets hot. And you still do have some lift uh, if, you, if you have a disturbance that moves through. But you don't have the moisture to squeeze out of the atmosphere because clouds are made out of moisture, out of, out of uh, uh, water vapor. And as that water vapor gets lifted through the atmosphere, it condenses. And by condensing, it forms a cloud. These clouds continue to grow as the atmosphere can draw on more moisture. So in a place like Arizona, that doesn't happen all that often. So say the city of Phoenix you might have clouds forming, but they don't grow because they don't have much moisture to draw on to build bigger. As the clouds get bigger, they get heavier. They fill up more with water, with more moisture, more humidity. Um, and then they get heavy enough that they end up dropping all that water out. And that is what is, that's how rain is created. So thunder and lightning, slightly different. Thun thunder and lightning, same thing, clouds get bigger. But as the cloud is growing bigger, air within the cloud is moving around. It's rising, it's falling, it's moving left, it's moving right. It's getting pulled within the winds of the clouds as it's also lifting itself due to the uh, temperature changes within that cloud. As this is happening, the air is rubbing against each other. The molecules are rubbing against each other. And as they are rubbing against each other, much like when you were a kid and you would scuff your feet on a, on a carpet and then you would touch the door handle and you'd feel that shock, you're creating static electricity. You're creating positive uh, molecules and you're creating negative charges. So positive charges and negative charges are being uh, developed within this cloud. And if you get enough of these positive charges and negative charges forming, you eventually get, again, like when you touch the door handle and you shock yourself, you get a release of electrical energy. That electrical energy release is lightning. And so, that happens within the clouds, and that is what we're expecting to happen tomorrow. As we see, we have the heat. We've got 84 degrees. We've got the humidity. That's going to be around from Saturday through Tuesday. And we do have the lift out there tomorrow as well. So all of these things together are what are creating our thunderstorm chance. And within those thunderstorms, with all of that moisture from the humidity that we feel on the ground, we have that chance for heavy, heavy rain. So torrential downpours are a big part of the uh, the forecast as we head into tomorrow uh, because uh, we have uh, all of the humidity within that atmosphere. Whew. Okay, there's your science lesson for the day.